seems in line as you were. I was just hearing you talk about the general market open. It feels like everything in general is trading a little bit weaker this morning. Uh, Société Générale obviously being one of them. Uh, but uh, that belies uh, some of the, uh, the, uh, the results that we got yesterday, which is that they beat on the revenue, they beat uh, on the bottom line as well. Uh, so they came in slightly better than consensus. I think the weaknesses that stand out here really are their domestic retail business in France, uh, some sub subdued activity there, continually affected by that low interest rate environment. And also the market's activity generally flat year on year revenues in that division, the global banking division, they call it, uh, came in up about 2% year in year. So slightly better than, of course, the first quarter where things dropped quite dramatically. Uh, but then again, not super stellar. But the bright spot is coming from their international retail banking activities. As you mentioned, that they're branching into different markets, different geographic locations, including uh, Central Eastern Europe, Africa, Russia, and all of those countries have exhibited good growth. So that part of the the division is actually exhibiting growth of about 7% or so. Uh, so I sat down with the deputy CEO yesterday, Mr. Caban, and I asked him whether or not the strategy going forward is to gear the focus away from domestic retail banking towards these more uh, high growth and emerging markets and uh, markets where they are exhibiting a good returns and a good return on equity. Let's take a listen. This quarter shows a benefit to, of our business model, if I may say, with diversified activities. And specifically in retail, you are mentioned, we are strong in our French market. Fair. And this market is under pressure due to the interest rate curve in the Eurozone, with, as you mentioned, a slight decrease of our top line. But we are compensating that with a very good dynamic in our international retail markets in Europe, in Russia, and in Africa, where you can see on all each of those business lines where the strength of growth is there between 6 and 8%, as you said. A good point also to mention our financial services for corporate, which are fleet management and equipment finance businesses, are also delivering this quarter high level of growth and high return, around 18 to 20% in terms of return. So this part today is the most growing part and the most profitable part of Société Générale Group. I think it's worth mentioning here that for Société Générale now about 70% of their revenues come from the retail business, be it domestic business or their international business. So they are heavily reliant on that business. And in this environment, low interest rate, negative interest rates, as far as the ECB are concerned, the only way to improve your, improve your bottom line is one, to cut costs, but of course they're investing in a di digitization technology, so that's uh, quite heavy on the spending front. And the other way is to go into different markets. And there you heard him, he was talking about uh, the big position and the big uh, geographic uh, moves they're making into Russia, Africa, etc. But then also, uh, this ties in very well to what we were just discussing about their acquisition of Commerce Bank's equity derivatives unit. And there they said that one of the motivations for that was to increase their presence in Germany, where they don't have a big derivatives presence. And when I spoke to Mr. Caban about the possibility for further bolt-on acquisitions, he didn't rule it out. He said as long as it complements their existing portfolio and helps them to gain market share, then that will certainly be another strategy to improve growth in the future. So uh, the way I see it is twofold. One is bolt-on acquisitions, and of course, there is that drive to continue uh, improving on the operating expenses side. But it's tough when you want to invest in digitization at the same time. Broadly speaking, though, I would say uh, today's numbers are largely in line, perhaps a slightly better beat, and continual focus on the international side of the business. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.